it is but normal for us to weep at the death of a loved one. More so at the funeral of that loved one. Kaya hindi ho katakataka na humahagul ang humahagulgol ang isang kamag-anak sa sandali na maidibing ang isang yumao. Hindi lang dun sa sandali na siya'y pumanaw, kundi kahit sa sandali na siya'y ililibing. Somehow, it is our way of acceptance and letting go. Kaya isa din sa madalas na tanong ng mga namatayan sa sandali ng libing ay, bakit mo kami iniwan? Kahit na alam naman natin na hindi makakasagot yung isang yumao, pero yung pagtatanong na, yung pagtatanong na yun ay bahagi ng pagtanggap at unti-unting paghilom ng sugat na dinulot ng kamatayan. But for Mary Magdalene, she was weeping for a different reason. Maybe we could also imagine that she was also weeping at the foot of the cross. We could also imagine that she was weeping at she was weeping with the mother of Jesus when he was laid in the tomb. As a human person, it was the usual way of accepting and letting go at the death of a loved one. However, at this particular point, she was weeping because she cannot find the body of Jesus. Alam ho natin na hindi madaling tanggapin ang pagpanaw ng isang minamahal. Katulad ni Maria Magdalena, nandun yung madalas na pagpunta natin sa libingan pagkatapos sa pagkatapos ng libing. Hanggang sa unti-unti, sa mga mahalagang araw na lamang ho tayo nagpupunta sa libingan na iyon. Again, part of the usual process of healing from the painful experience of a death of a loved one. Kaya maunawaan din natin yung hinagpis ni Maria Magdalena sa ebanghelyo na narinig natin ngayon. She was still undergoing the painful process of healing from the death of a loved one. She was still in the process of accepting and letting go. That's why when Jesus showed himself to her, she was clinging onto him. Jesus had, to remind, Jesus had to remind her, stop clinging to me. Stop holding on to me. Because at this point, there is another thing that Jesus wanted Mary to do. To move forward. These are also the three things that, that are being given to us today. Acceptance, letting go, and moving forward. Acceptance and letting go may seem a little bit negative kasi yun naman ho yung madalas na ginagawa natin sa sandali na pumanaw ang isang minamahal. Pagtanggap at paghayo. But Easter is not just about these two things. It will also be accompanied with moving forward. We can easily say that we have accepted and we have let go. But we must also move forward to another mission that the risen Christ is giving to us. That was what Jesus was telling Mary. Stop clinging to me, but go to my brothers. Do not touch me. Let me go. Because from now on, you will have a new mission. And as we continue to relish the joys of Easter, this is the grace that we beg for. The grace of moving forward to our new mission. We may have accepted the harsh, some harsh realities about our person as we reflected during the Lenten season. We may have let go some perfect but not realistic ideas about ourselves. Now it is time to move forward and embrace this new mission. Because new life does not only mean new beginning and new chances. It would also mean new ways of proclaiming and sharing Jesus in our lives.